Hello, this is Jeff Ryle from Lego G Systems, and this is video 303 on how to hook up a Nighthawk Wi Fi device uh, that's on 4G platform uh, to get ready for the 3G phase out. And we'll show, we'll go over the Nighthawk, then we'll go over the uh, Windows settings to link the, the Wi Fi device to the uh, CS15, then we'll go over the work files and the settings on the, on the Viva software. So let's take a quick look at some videos here. Okay, we're gonna take a quick look at the hotspot. This is from at and it's called a Nighthawk. So I just turn the power on, it takes a, a minute to boot up. And then I can just click this bottom, this, this button to the, to the right and it'll scroll through. And it shows me how many gigs I used. And there's your signal strength up here, which is important. Hit it again and you have a 2.4 gigabyte mode and there's the password right there. So that password is what we're going to type in to the um, actual uh, data collector. If I click it again, um, it'll go to a five gigabyte um, Wi-Fi mode. So you can toggle between the two. Once again, you can uh, plug in the power up down here. They're saying it should last like 20 hours. So this is the hotspot device. There'll be a case and we'll interface this to the CS15. It could be a Verizon one as well. Okay, so that's just a quick overview of the, uh, the Nighthawk. Okay, right now we're in Viva and we have a yellow triangle. We're not on the internet. I'll hit function exit, go to Windows. And what we'll do is try to set up the, uh, the hotspot. So first we'll check our settings, go to start, settings, control panel to network and then what we'll do is we'll there's a little red dot or red X there we'll enable that Y LAN that's really important so we'll exit out of here and at the bottom you'll see this little um, icon and what we'll try to do is click on here and go to wireless information and check the box and notify me when there's new wireless and what we'll do is we'll scroll down and pick the name of the, the Nighthawk, and there it is there. Okay, so hit connect. And then um, what we'll do is we've got to type in the password that was on, on the screen. So it's capital P. So I'll back up. Capital P, lowercase v, capital L4, lowercase a, 97. Enter, then we'll hit OK. All right, that's preferred, and it should hopefully, when we hit connect, it should connect up to that hotspot device. Okay, and then we'll hit OK here, and then when that's preferred, that should hit it uh, every time. Okay, so we'll come back into SmartWorks and take a look at the settings in SmartWorks. Okay, we, uh, we're now back into SmartWorks, rebooted it up, and now you can see that Connected we're to actually sensor. on the internet. So let's take a look at our settings. So if I hit uh, from main menu at work style setup, hit 4 to work style, and right now we're on the near, and that's fine, we'll hit next. And I can toggle from near to IMAX. So we'll stay here, I'll hit instrument, connections, or the connections. And the CS connection, um, the first one, CS internet, is turned off. This is really important because if you take your SIM card out, it'll, if this is checked, it'll keep giving you error messages going and put in your SIM card. So we're going to turn that off because now the Nighthawk is hooked up through Windows. Under GS connections, we'll come, that's the second tab, we'll hit RTK Rover, hit edit, and let's take a look at the settings. The first screen is general. You want to check to receive RTK, and it's through the CS internet number one, RTCM3 data. We'll come over here to network and right now it's nearest. So when we switch to the other work style, that's IMAX, that'll change from nearest to IMAX. We'll hit okay. Then we'll hit a F4 control and server to use, if we edit it, this is the, the IP for SmartNet, port 10,000, and NTRIP will have the username and password. Then we'll store. That's what we need to dial in. 
And then right now, end trip mount point, since we're using the near single baseline, put my source table when you first set up, that'll be blank. From the internet, we can go down, MSN will have all the GNSS data. So we'll hit OK. All right. So excellent. We're on our new job called Hotspot. I'll hit number one. Number one again for survey. And right now we can hit star, number five, start streaming data. Okay. If we come up here, we'll click click on here, and we're tracking GPS, GLONASS, Galileo, because we're using the MSN near, and now it fixes. Okay. So we're on the, if I click on here, we're on the internet. Connectivity, just connect to the internet via the hotspot. Okay. All right. Uh, let's take a look at some other settings. Hit the star button, RTK data link status. That'll show me how many satellites, GPS, GLONASS, Galileo we're using. And once again, we're using the nearest. How do I switch to uh, IMAX? I'll hit star, stop streaming data. And on the main screen, there's no hotkey, but it's hit number four, user, number two, work style. RTK data link down. And then I can hit next and switch with the arrow key to number one. Keeps me on the internet. Let's take a look at the settings. So once again, we'll hit instrument, connections, all the connections. So once you set that wizard up, we'll just come in here and change these settings and we'll stick to that work style. So once again, the CS connection, that's blank, it's turned off. GS connection, we're gonna edit RTK Rover. And just like before, the first screen general is CS Internet 1, RTCM 3 is your data. Network type will now be IMAX. We'll hit OK. Come down here to F4 control. Once again, there's our server name. We hit source, and it's MSN IMAX. So I'll hang up before I switch from an IMAX to a near. And once again, we'll hit star, start streaming data, and then hit number one, go to work, number one, survey. And now uh, we should see our CQs down here, dialing in, check marks come up, and it fixes. Okay. And I took two shots. If I wanted to, I could take a shot here, shoot a point in, call it point number two, hit measure, there's your time at point, I could code it, point and store that point. If I wanted to stake it out, then we're just going to stake out and stake that closest point. Okay? So that's a quick overview of just how to set up a work style, how to switch from a max to a near. The case you want to do a max to a near is if there's bad weather storms coming in, even 20 miles away, an IMAX solution might struggle a little bit. Just hang up, switch to a near. Okay? That's a single baseline. So that's a quick way. We have the hotspot hooked up. It's interfaced. Um, if you have problems, what I would do to re-interface that hotspot, just hold the power key down, reset to a basic Windows reset, and then you can reconnect the hotspot like we just did in this video. Okay? All right, so I hope you found that helpful.